The OSE pipe and crankbench has now two highly experimental features uh, to move and to rotate parts. This only works with uh, Dodo parts. That's why if, if you create a new part, make sure to select Dodo here. Otherwise, uh, this will not work. Unfortunately, uh, the selection with the mouse uh, doesn't work always uh, correctly. Uh, that's why it's uh, highly experimental. Nevertheless, uh, if you have some problems, you can still use a uh, selection panel of the FreeCAD or you can use uh, panels of both new features. Uh, to understand uh, how it works, you first need to understand uh, the concept of uh, ports for fittings. Ports are openings of the, of the fittings where pipes and other fittings uh, may be connected to. For example, this uh, T-fitting has three ports. First one, second one and the third one. Now let's uh, move it around. First uh, select an edge which is close to corresponding port and click on uh, move around button. Make sure we selected the, cor the correct part and the correct port and we can rotate along uh, this axis. We can select a different port. Again, uh, we can use a mouse uh, to click on the corresponding edge and then the closest port will be selected. This is the third one. Apply the rotation. Or we can select uh, ports directly with a move around panel. It is also possible to move the fittings towards the ports. Select the port and you can move, uh, move the part. Select a different port. Make sure we selected uh, the correct one. In this case, it didn't work. If you have uh, troubles with uh, selection, you can unselect everything and try to select again. Now we select correctly the third part and we can we can move and rotate the part. It is also possible uh, to move one fitting or one pipe into another fitting or pipe. To do it, uh, we first unselect everything. Then we select the part which must be moved. Then we select the destination port and click the move to button. I verify once again that the correct part and ports were selected. Yes, we want to move pipe uh, to the T fitting. And we can click apply now. If we want to move it to another port, we can either select the port here with a mouse or you we can use uh, this uh, this panel. It is also possible uh, to change the gap between the two parts. Let's uh, select a very, very high gap for demonstration purpose. And apply the changes. We can select the small gap again. We can also remove the gap completely.